Hi, this is Elise Bright of Evolve Restorative Therapy, here to share with you a swimming routine that I do regularly to enhance myself both physically and mentally. Many people consider swimming a challenging form of exercise. Some have difficulty even getting into a pool or getting their faces wet, and other people are just bored swimming freestyle continuously. So today we're going to mix it up a little bit. I'll be showing you some techniques to enhance your swimming experience so that you can drop the expression, I hate swimming, and turn it into, I love swimming. Let's get started. Equipment is the most important thing to having a successful swim. This orange bathing cap is a thin, flimsy plastic that doesn't really hold the hair. I much prefer putting my hair in a silicone bathing cap such as the one I'm showing you which I've had for over 10 years. It's very very thick and it holds the hair beautifully and doesn't wear down and simply placing it over the top of your head and tucking the, the hair through the back is the best way to get everything tucked in. Of course you guys don't have to worry about that with shorter hair but it will definitely streamline your swim. The next piece of equipment I'm going to show you are goggles and the ones I like to wear provide me some corrective vision uh, attributes. I have nearsightedness and I'm able to see this clock behind me from the other end of the pool with TYR corrective vision goggles uh, and regular goggles are just as well. Give it a tight seal around your eyes, no water getting in and now it's time to get into the pool. The best method to do that is a deep water plunge. One, two, three, go. Get the whole body wet and experience a wake up call. Now we're ready to get started. The first technique I'm going to show you is called the side balance drill. I'm on my side, my head is resting on my arm extended out in front. My other arm is on my side and I am kicking my legs with a side flutter kick. This stroke enables you to regulate your breathing, get your heart rate steady, and provide you a, a, a stable state to start the rest of your swim. Now I'm going to incorporate several lengths of freestyle into my warm-up. As you can see, I'm turning my head from one side to the other every three strokes, a technique that's helping to save my neck from getting too stiff. If it's too difficult, continue breathing on one side. I always like to incorporate several drills into my workout. The one I'm showing you here is called the fingertip drag. I'm actually placing my fingertips along the top of the water, starting at my waist and bringing my arm forward. My elbow is, is going up high for high elbow retention to complete the proper freestyle stroke. Equipment is really important for any workout. What I'm going to show you right now is a way to use swim fins and I like to use the Aquasphere short fins which are very lightweight. They almost feel like styrofoam. And I'm going to grab a kickboard and I'm going to show you four different kick, kicking techniques to enhance your leg workout. The first of which is our flutter kick. Flipping over onto our back, we'll repeat the same flutter kick which is used in freestyle with the kickboard above our head. The next kicking stroke is the dolphin kick which is a butterfly kick where I'm moving my hips and my feet together snapping the water. Um, and this technique is very, very good for tightening your abs. Here's the dolphin kick on your back. Notice what a great ab workout it is. It also works the glutes and the legs are snapping down in the water so they're getting a workout as well. So we're finished with the kickboarding and now we're going to start a technique called pulling, which also requires some equipment. Um, this is the buoy which goes in between your legs and these are hand paddles which are optional but I enjoy using them. There goes the buoy, I have to put it back in, but the hand paddles are going to be slipped um, 
around the wrist and the middle finger goes into a loop on the top of the paddle. And I'm, with the buoy in between my legs, I'm not using my legs at all. And I'm just using my arm strength here to pull the water down and emphasize a strong and steady pulling stroke. I'd like to finish off by showing you some breast stroke which is a nice relaxing stroke to finish off a workout and I also enjoy doing the backstroke which is a relaxing stroke that allows you to relax your breathing because you're on your back and use your shoulders in a different way and it's a good way to end your workout. Now that you've seen a variety of swimming techniques that can expand your workout, challenge yourself to try them out. See which ones work best for you. Here at Evolve Restorative Therapy, we really enjoy teaching people how to help themselves. So feel free to email me at evolvert3 at gmail.com with any questions or feedback that you might have. And thanks for watching. Happy swimming.